The 3rd of May saw a battle-weary Charlton side packing another evening game into their fixture list as they entertained Bristol City at the Valley. Here's Steve Dixon again. Welcome to the Valley this evening for NZ League First Division action as Charlton Athletic take on Bristol City for the fourth time this season. The clubs, of course, having met already in the FA Cup in an epic fifth round tie that went to a replay, which was won at the Valley 2-0 after that 1-1 draw at Ashton Gate. The Charlton side shows a number of changes from the team that drew 3-3 with Notts County at the weekend. Peter Garland returns to the starting lineup for the first time in seven games. Paul Sturgis starts only his third league game of the season at left back in place of Scott Minto. And John Robinson is back in the side after missing the 3 3 draw at Meadow Lane. No Wayne Allison up front for Bristol City tonight, but look out for his, his replacement, number nine Scott Partridge, the former Bradford striker who was impressed recently with three goals in his last three games. Garland with the corner from this near side. Chance for Nelson, off the line, I think Harriet got it away and Dave Martin getting it away from under the posts. Charlton going very close there to taking the lead. Pleasant night here at the Valley in May. And that's fallen kindly for Partridge. Lining up a shot perhaps, blocked by Salmon, and Salmon with a fine save. Superb double save there from Mike Salmon. Phil Chappell got the ball away, but Mike Salmon certainly preventing Bristol City from taking the lead. This is Leeburn. And Nelson trying to work his pace. Garland chipping across to the far post. Leeburn's in there! Fine save by Keith Welsh. Munro with the free kick for the visitors. Chapel gets the ball away. Back it comes from Harriet. And now Junior Bent turning well. And there's a chance and there's a goal! Scott Partridge scores his fourth goal in as many games. And Bristol City take the lead here at the Valley. It's Charlton Athletic nil. Bristol City won and Partridge there at the far post. Turning the ball in neatly after that fine cross from Junior Bent. Alan McCleary with the free kick for Charlton. Deep into the City penalty area. Lee Burns up there. Chance now for Nelson. Oh, fine goal! Gary Nelson on the volley with his 14th of the season. And that's an immediate response to Bristol City taking the lead. Lee Burns was causing problems with his height and strength yet again. And Nelson turned and volleyed the ball beautifully past Welsh. It's one apiece. Garland gets it forward, and this is Nelson, Nelson trying to go the long way round, was that obstruction? And a free kick's been given, referee Ian Hemley certainly felt that Munro had obstructed Nelson. And now let's see what Charlton can do with this free kick early in the second half. Chipped in towards the far post, Chappell's in there, oh he's got a head to it and it's there, Phil Chappell. His fifth goal of the season, just squeeze it in at the near post. Possibly the goalkeeper at fault, I thought, there. But Chappell getting up very well at the far po at the near post there and squeezing the ball past Welsh. Charlton take the lead. And indeed, it looks as if Charlton are going to have to make a substitution. Mike Salmon looks as if he's going to have to go off, which means that it'll be... A chance of some rare action for John Vaughan, Charlton reserve keeper who served the club so well in that period in March when he played those games including the cup ties against Bristol City and Manchester United. Now Tinian with a chance to get the ball back in. He does so. Oh, there's a chance surely. Oh, a scramble in the goal mouth. Vaughan's there. And Chapel now can get it away. And Charlton living dangerously. But they've got up as far as Nelson, Munro across to cover. And Charlton managed to keep the ball in. 
Robinson. And now Nelson. The ball across. Oh, it's an own goal. Martin Scott makes it 3-1 to Charlton. I'm sure Lee Byrne would probably have tucked the chance in at the far post anyway. But it's an unfortunate own goal from Martin Scott. Nelson turned the ball across. Scott put it through his own goal. Charlton Athletic 3, Bristol City 1. Following that.